Ah, okay. So instead, I mean, it, it is just the key exporter right, of goods and production, production of goods or whatever else kind of goods. 
but I mean, if you there's a time when I think China might want some help also. So I think it like restricts itself from going out, going further outside, and you know asking for help. So you feel that it's because they keep to the yes. they try to be independent. So they try to be the country that that every country can like depend on. So in the in the event that um. They need to do something, right? So they can have their say what they want and you know, their way. So it's like a matter of pride. Mm, yes. So they don't want to open up and accept help from others. Yes. Okay, that's possible. Any other factors? Anyone else? Do you think about other countries? Maybe Singapore? What is the case where if Singapore's economy were to shrink, what do you think may be the factors that will cause the economy to go down? Everybody become very lazy. I think foreign talent. <laughs> like, because Singaporean, they keep thinking other foreign talent like snatching their job and all. So if the government really close up on this foreign talent thing, then I think it will affect the economy, uh, really. Singapore's. Okay. Yeah. And also, no, because... Now Singapore's government is quite open to foreign I mean, if... Uh, in the event if, that if, it closes... So the working population will, like, go down? Yes. Yeah. Also because, because we rely a lot on foreign talent now. Mm-hmm. Also because, you know, Singapore, the birth rate is, like, declining, right? At the same time, uh, China is making this one one child policy thing. So I think it, they, for now they won't see the effect, but later on mm-hmm. they'll probably also feel the effect. So basically, you're saying it's population. Mm. They never learn lesson from us. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, right, I feel right, I mean, okay, so far, right, a lot of like products from all over the world are so common in China, but have you ever like thought, right, what brand, right, that we know that is from China that is like all over the world very, very popular? Or what product, or what, like literally it's their own brand, it's not like something that they take from someone and they produce there and then they give up. That's something that they make with themselves. It's all copied, right, not themselves, right? <laughs> Cherry QQ? Yeah. Uh, the the really small and cheap car. The car? <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody can buy car. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, one got one also. Our broadband. You know, um, Huawei. Huawei, correct. Yeah, Huawei. 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 So, Huawei. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I think because right, China right, so in Singapore there's about, I think 70% Chinese right, you got here, right? a lot of Chinese people right, so I mean if, like now uh, what I think right, is that um, the government they always, I don't know why, but they always like emphasize other races to learn Chinese, so when other races actually do learn Chinese right, then if China's economy, uh, economy is it? China slowdown affects us in a way, right? Then what is the point of people learning Chinese now? <laughs> <laughs> we work, my bet is on you and then you suddenly lose then alamak, what happened? Okay, yeah, that's true. Because they depend a lot on China. Okay, so what about on other countries rather than Singapore that do not depend so much on China?